you know, the best thing I can say is our guys competed right to the end. They uh, they kept fighting and kept fighting, and it didn't look good for a long time. And the execution wasn't very good, and we weren't very crisp on offense. But uh, we just kind of hung in there and found a way to win. I mean, uh, you know, they had a nice drive. They get down there in field goal range, and we get them stopped. And uh, to our kids' credit, to, to our quarterback's credit, he made some plays, and kept the thing alive, and. Uh, I mean, we had a chance on the very first play. They turned the guy Scott free deep, turned him loose, and we, you know, we had to dodge to get the thing off. And then I think it hit him in the head, didn't it? And that was the best thing that happened. Yeah, it actually was because we were able to run all the clock off. But uh, you know, you got to be proud of the way they fought and competed. Uh, Lord knows we got a lot of work to do. Seemed like both teams had to settle for field goals when they had chances. They were we never got anything consistently going yeah. in the running game. Nothing. Uh, if we didn't, if we single blocked the nose tackle, he made every tackle. And if we doubled him, the linebacker made every tackle. So it was just kind of pick your, pick which one you want. Coach, like this was Nesmith's most accurate game. I know guys. He actually a lot threw some balls. good balls. Yeah. We had a lot of drops. I thought he threw the ball very well. Could you take us through that last play of the touchdown to Corey? It's just a slam route. It was one single coverage back there, and actually, Coach Preston up in the box had seen it uh, before and felt like that it would be a good call. And uh, so, and, you know, it was a quick pass. Uh, so I thought we could get it off, and if it wasn't complete, we were going to, you know, be able to kick the field goal. That's the deal where you got to throw in the end zone, right? I mean, yeah. Well, we had time because it, it, it would have been a first down. We could have killed the clock. But uh, the only only thing that would have got us in trouble there is a sack. And, you know, we were told we can't take a sack. So. Coach, how about Scott Blair today with the three kicks keeping you in the game? Oh, he made some big field goals. He uh, he really did. He went out and was solid as could be. Uh, I don't know about that kickoff there at the end, but uh, <laughs> the, the, the last two kickoffs weren't very good. But the field goals were great. And, uh, you know, he's done a great job all year. He's been real consistent. Can you talk about the year? personal foul penalties that were occurred throughout the game? Well, let's see. Uh, you know, I don't know what. What the first one was on uh, Phil Smith, I think. Somebody said he punched the guy. Just retaliation. Yeah, they were drawing it. Okay. <coughs> At least he hit one guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, 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 the other one was on Lewis Smith, uh, Lewis yeah. Young. Yeah. That I had just counseled on the punt before. And then the other one, I think, was hands to the head on the quarterback on a bootleg. So. I assume that you didn't, uh, you didn't plan to see Skyler Jones this evening? No, we, we, we try to get ready for the scheme. I mean, we usually don't get ready for the players. We try to get ready for the scheme. Were you satisfied with you know, the defense kept you in the game? And yeah, I thought they played well. well. I thought, uh, you know, when we got some stops, even though when they got the ball down, most of the time, you know, we, we uh, they had to kick field goals. and. Just like at the end of the game there, that was huge that they had to kick the field goal. It seems like uh, you've had a lot of issues of the blocking up the middle. Is this a function of slants or personnel? What I don't think they were there? slanting. They were just lining up and firing into us. How much what? is losing well? I mean, that seems to affect you guys more times it's going down. Well, it, he's a starter for a reason, probably. Um, we went through, I don't know, we played about everybody over there. So uh, we played a lot of guys. So and eventually you came in and played. You know, you know, it's hard to tell how those guys do what you to take. What will uh, those last seven minutes of this game do moving forward for confidence and this kind of thing? Oh, I don't know. I think that uh, hopefully the, the kids will gain some confidence from it. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to go back and look at the tape and, and realize there's a lot of things that we can get a lot better at and we're going to have to. You went through about the same situation against Kansas on the last drive. Did you change anything or did you learn anything from that drive? No, we just executed a little better. And the quarterback made some plays. He, he scrambled on fourth down and got us first down and kept kept the thing alive. And uh, you know we made made some plays. We still we still had a chance. We had two deep balls go right through our hands. Uh, he gave him a chance to make plays and we didn't make plays. The, the issues that Nesbitt and Allen seem to be having on the handoff, is that because the linemen are just firing into him and backing the offensive lineman up? or what's going I on? think they had one first play of the game. I don't know, Anthony, I think might have went wide. I don't know until I see the tape. Anything else?
Thanks, 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 Thanks,